Daptone Records isn't really like any other record label. We did a lot of work trying to get up and running as quick as we could. Sharon did a lot of electricity with me. Charles Bradley was showing me how to level uh, radiator pipes, you know, and he would score us these black market Home Depot cards that we would, we would buy at a discount. So gay, yeah, like those guys, when they was babies, when I first met them, I came in the studio and they was all in there, and I literally came in and I was like, what you young white boys know about funk music? <laughs> Everyone should have a musical family. No one should make music by themselves on a computer in their bedroom because that's sad and pathetic and no community can come out of that. Ever since the beginning, we've always dreamt of doing a Dap Town Soul Review. And that's how it's been in the studio since we started. I never knew if we'd sell a lot of records, this, that, but I, that was like one of the early things that we wanted to do together. It was that dream, like how can we all be together with a lot of our favorite people, mm. night after night, you know, and how can we all be on one stage and not have any of the drag of changeovers or anything, and it was like, that happened. No one gave us this. I did not wear knee pads for this. That's right. Three nights, sold out. Three nights at the Apollo Theater. They don't do that anymore. Sharon Jones did. <laughs> I had a man one hundred days. Tell me things.